I know a student who is working here in Lithuania as a full time worker and he's earning like 1200 to 300 euros in a month. And I know a student who is getting 900 euros in a month. And I know a student who is working as a part time and he's getting 500 to 600 euros for just two days. And I know a few students who don't work. So this video is for you. This is the Everything you ever wanted to do is doing it. saying there is no job in Lithuania. Uh, I understand because there is a lot of competition here. But the thing is that there are some tricks. There are some tips which you need to follow and some tricky things you have to do. It's not like you need to do something out of the box. But there are some tricks and tips. If you want me to read specific videos on tips and tricks how to get the jobs, then I can make in new video. In Lithuania, the salary system, pay wage system is through per hours. Through the hours they are paying you. For example, you are working 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours in a day. So these hours are decided through your week and month. Then you are getting paid through your hours. In Lithuania, when you are working, you need to see how hours I am working in a month and how hours I am working in a week. Then, because that's how you will get your salary which you are getting. For example, I'm doing a job in a restaurant, so I need to see they are paying me uh, 5 euro per hour. Then I have to see I need to work 20 hours per week. So then I can decide this much I can earn in a month. So whenever you are going to be hired or you are working somewhere, you need to see, you need to ask the employer or maybe the company or maybe the restaurant, what are you getting exactly? So through your per hour wage, you can decide how long or maybe how much you will work. So then it will be enough for you and how much tax is deducted. For example, the owner has told you they are paying you 6 euro per hour. Then after deduction, you will get 4.5 something or maybe 5 euro per hour. Then it will be enough for you or maybe not. I want to give example of my friend who six months ago, he got a job in a good restaurant in Vilnius. So, so he got a good job there and he was a pizza maker there. So actually he saw the job post somewhere and he, and he applied. So he asked them like he needed the job and they invited him for the interview. So they told them like you will get this before tax, like 6.5 they were giving him before taxes. And they explained him like you will get after taxes, you will be like 4.5 or 4 point something you will get after taxes. So after taxes, it's the original salary which he will get. So then they asked him how many days you want to work like they give him the freedom if you want to work like four days which is the full time or maybe less than that because he was a student so he said I will be working three days so he started working there as a pizza maker so he working and he he worked for one month there but he got his salary so he told me like so he got 600 and 700 600 700 is something he got the salary for the whole month he saw like he was working something less hours or maybe more hours in a day for example some days he was working like 12 hours in a day and some days he was working eight hours or seven hours in a day like going from morning and coming till the evening so his salary was counted according to his hours so wherever you will go for the job in the companies for example so they will explain you they will pay you this much in an hour sometimes it happens like they tell you okay this is the fixed amount we will pay you uh, for the full time uh, in a month so you have to work this much or you will get this much salary but this happens like whenever they are paying you in cash so when someone is paying you in cash it means they are not paying your taxes so it doesn't bother them and you also and you are happy with that because you're not paying the tax they are not paying your tax so they are saving the money so they tell you this is the fixed amount for example uh, one company is telling you we are paying you 1200 euros in a month fix for full time for example four days or five days in a week so this is your fixed salary so you don't need to be worried about the hours you are going and you are working and you are getting this salary if you will ask me about the bold and world jobs for example the courier jobs are they paying you according to the per hour wage for example you will be asking me okay bold is paying me seven euro per hour five euro per hour or not no the board board and the couriers they are not paying you according to per hour they are paying you according to the orders for example today the rate is high and tomorrow rate will be down so you are not sure because it depends on the 
amount of work amount of orders today for example today is too much busy today is raining or today is snowing and people are ordering a lot today so maybe uh, bold and world they are increasing their per order wages for example they are paying you 2 euro per order and 4 euro per order so they will be paying you like this and courier jobs are not the full time jobs but it's a individual work like you are doing it by your own for example it's an individual work so you are paying your own taxes you know how much you have to work you are the one who decides i need to work half day in a day so you know i need to work and i need to earn 50 euros in a day then it will be enough for me so this is the individual work not the full-time contract with the bolt and world so lithuania is not a country which pays you a lot more salaries in a month you know if you are seeing like i will be working 2000 3000 euros uh, then it will be enough for me i told you previous videos like students some are working like too much more than enough so they are making this much amount but depends like if you are working like uh, more than full time of course you will be earning more but there will be like dying i can say like or maybe you will be missing your studies so but you will be still earning some amount but the example which i gave you before it was too much but right now it's less you know why because the amount of the students amount of the competition there is a lot in the restaurants as well for example uh, you are working full time so full time workers in the restaurant they are getting 850 or 900 euros so 900 euros 850 is a fixed amount in a restaurant for the full time so you have to work uh, this much hours in a month then you will get this much amount 900 or 850 euros but if you decided you are working like more than that for example uh, more than a full time like for example five days or six days in a week then you will be getting like 1200 euros 1300 euros it will be more than enough but it will be too much work amount of a lot of work amount of a lot of hours as well then you will be getting like more salary so amount of work you will do then amount of salary you will get so students are working here all the time i can see because they need to manage their expenses uh they need to manage their tuition fee but the another thing is that you will be getting a lot of holidays vacations then you can decide like okay i need to work now more because i have two months off so you can work five days six days four days to save your tuition fee so when you made it after that you can say okay now i need to work like limited now i need to work less because i need to manage other things as well